Welcome back to Crazy Gamer Games Ball. Like else is going today. Today we're doing another ammo buy mig review. Um, local hobby town has authorized me to review these products. And um, something a little special coming up. So we'll get to that at the end of the video. So, possibly a giveaway. We'll see. Here's what we got. We have the Let's go in here so we can see this better. We have the Summer Dust Set. We'll look inside that in a minute. We have Rusty Vehicles Enamel Weathering Set. We have the Original Filter Set for German Tanks. And hey, guess what? We're building a German tank! And then we have a Starter Set Hands are gray, enamel and acrylics, and then we have fantastic late German camouflages, which, you know, us building a late German tank, that's going to come in handy, and then we have a weathering set for German camo, excited about that, and then we have two different products, um, I don't know which one of these we're going to use, whatever one we're not going to use, I have to give back. So, we have weathering set for dry earth tracks and weathering set for wet earth tracks. So, we'll decide, you all can leave comments below on whether you want to see wet tracks or dry tracks on the Yagged Tiger. I might just purchase it, I don't know. Looks good, we'll see. Let's start with this. Starter set, pans are gray. We get a a MIG acrylic brush and airbrush with the mixing ball inside. This is why I like these. I'm telling you, these are fantastic. And it is Dunkel Gull. R-A-L-7021. And it appears to be Let's just get us a, there we go, let's get us a little pallet here. Let's see what this looks like. Just have it down there. Okay, so, yeah, see, it's just a, it's a nice gray. Hopefully that picks up. Not too dark, not too light. On my finger gray. Some wet paint. And then we have a enamel wash. This is blue for Panzer Gray. Um, this is mid color 1006. And it is, it, it appears to be like a bluish, light bluish green gray. That's a color. That's what I'm calling it. Um, we're keeping this one, so we'll take a look at it here. So let's shake it up. And I've done a lot of research since my last time applying enamel washes. And I practiced a little bit. And I think I got it down. I'm going to use a crappy brush. Let's see here. This looks like. So it is a little, a little more bluish green than the gray that is on there. So I think a better test bed for this. If you forgive me for one second, I don't have a piece of stone. No, he's going to have to do it. I don't want to do the back of this cardboard. Okay, for the next one. And then we have streaking grime for um, we 
streaking grime for Panzer Gray. So let's clean the brush from last time. So here's what you get. It's like a nice, nice brown with a little subtle gray. A little subtle gray in it. So that's nice. So let's take a look at that. That's a starter set for Panzer Gray. Um, let's take a look at the Rusty Vehicles enamel weathering set here. We have a streaking rust effect. That's one I want to look at. And then we have a light rust wash and a track wash. Now these are all two enamel washes and a streaking effect. Let's just take a look at this rust wash. Real quick here. That streaky rust. There's some repeats in some of these, so we won't be testing them all. Just want to see what these rust ones look like. Take a look at this track wash because this track wash is in um, some of these dry earth tracks and stuff. So let's see what we got here. So you pay paint the tracks like that track color. I think you you'll turn out. So you have a light rust. You have your streaky rust, and you have your track wash. Track wash is like a brown mud. Then you have two different rust tones, a light rust tone and a more darky rust tone. I think this dark rust tone would look good down, and then like a dry brush of a light rust over top of it. I think that would look good on like a muffler section. So I might um, keep that in mind for the future. Um, then we have the filter set for German camo. Um, we have blue for dark gray, which is MIG uh, 1509. Then we have tan for three tone, that's 1510. And then um, we have brown for dark yellow, which is 1511. Um, I'm going to hold off on testing those. They're filters. You're going to see those come up in upcoming videos. This is what I'm going to use to uh, put on the Bird Panther, the Panther A, and the Bird and the Yag Tiger. So then we have a Summer Dust set. Um, this is set 2, um, set 7401. And we have a Nature's Effect Kirk Soil. This is, this is strange, I thought this was going to be a pigment powder, but it's not. Let's see what this looks like. I don't even know if this is an ammo or not. It doesn't say if it's an ammo. Well, that's a nice khaki color. That's a nice khaki color right there. So that's that one, and then there is another nature's effect, like dust, that is 1401. Well, that's almost as light as the cardboard itself. I'll show you that one closer. 
thing as you can see here how light that um, light dust is that would be nice as a that could be a filter or just a nice little little add-on and then we have some light dust pigment um, I basically you can use the enamel to put down the pigments I found that out to lock them down so you put down that light dust put a little light dust pigment in there and that light dust pigment is um, three zero zero two I'm not going to get the pigments out because when I got pigment pigments out last time I made a mess so I'm only going to get those out when I'm going to use them Learn. okay so then we have the weathering set for German camo Let's see here. We have a modeling pigment dark earth. That is 3007. And then we have a what appears to be thick, something called medium density mud splashes, um, dry steep um, 1751. Let's take a look. This is what the kids will be using. So let's take a look. That seems kind of thicker. It seems thicker than um, the enamel washes. Feels thicker, anyways. As you can see there, it's a little thicker. And you can splotch it and smush it, and it leaves a little texture. Texture some dust with that. And then we have the tan filter for three-tone camo. You'll see that um, in an upcoming video. It's 1510. Excuse me. And then I have streaking grime, which is um, 1203. I want to see what the difference is between this streaking grime rust. I believe this was the rust streaking grime. Let's see what the difference is real quick between the rust streaking and the streaking grime here. Right below it. I'll open all these paints. Oh, it's so strong. So you can see it's it's similar. To the rust streaking, but the rust streaking has a little more red in it. It's a little warmer than the, um, the the regular streaking grime. And then we have a brown wash for German dark yellow. And this is what I'm looking forward to to put on the bottom hull and the top hull of the Burke Panther because it's going to be that dark yellow color. Or as Vallejo likes to call it, green brown. That is the German camo weathering set. Now we're going to look at the late German camouflage colors. We're not going to put these on a palette. We just wanted to see those effects. We have RAL6003 Olive Grune Opt 1. It is MIG A. A dot A MIG dash zero zero one. Then we have a zero zero three that is a Reseda green. Then we have a zero zero four that is a Redesha off green B. Then we have a Dunkel Kaleb that is your zero eleven Ost forty four. This one, um, I believe this is like a, a darkish yellow that, that was factory before camo was applied on 44 vehicles. And then you have your Dokal Kaleb 44-3. This is number 12. This is um, a base color for... Um, later 44 vehicles too before the camera was applied and then you have your um, rotobron which is 014 this is your um, red oxide primer color for german vehicles and it's cool on the top of this box it gives you a little bit it says the olive grune opt one was green camouflage color dark option 
used on German tanks from February 1943 onward, also used as a base color from February 1945. This darker sh color shade was achieved through proper application and thorough coverage. And then you have the 6011 Risa Dove for late war German vehicles of 45. And then you have the B of the Rest Dragoon, which is for German vehicles late 45. Then you have the Dunkel Gelb 1, which is German vehicles 1945. It is darker than the Dunkel Gelb three and less yellow than the mid-war color and then you have the Dunkel Gelb three which is lighter than the Dunkel Gelb one and is less yellow than the mid-war color and then you have your Rotobron which is your red primer color used in German vehicles during 1941. Now if you guys have been following along on my videos of the mid colors and the, 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 the tanks I've been building, the Burke Panther, you know that I had previously gotten interior colors for German vehicles, 1939 and 1945. So, now we have the outside colors and the inside colors, but we also have a 125 subscriber challenge. If you guys get me to 125 subscribers, I will be giving away a box of Ammo by Big products. There will be a, um, the winner will get to choose from a list of Ammo by Big products, and I will have it sent to them as, as fast as the mail will take it to them. If you're, if you're overseas in England, that's fine. Europe, that's fine. It just may take a while to get to you guys. So... At 125 subscribers, I'll do a random drawing among my subscribers, and you will get a ammo by big product courtesy of my local hobby town. Now, let's take a look at the dry, the different tank tracks. Now, I can't open these and test them because whatever one I don't pick, I have to give back. So, this one is dry earth. We have some North African dust. We have some dry seep, medium density mud splashes. What? Where did I see that? Oh yeah, we have that in the German Pinema. So, and then we have a track wash, which I think we have in something else too. So two of these we already have. And then we have a metal color acrylic polished metal. That is um, 192. And then we have 034, which is rust tracks. I don't think we got that anywhere else. Uh, the North African dust, that was um, 3003. So that's what's in the, the dry earth tracks. And here's some pictures of what the results you can get with that. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little set. I like to keep both, but that's not an option. Okay, and then this one is four different things. So for wet tracks, uh, there's the picture, what the tracks could look like. I hope mine would be even close to that. We have a acrylic color paint. It is dark tracks, big 35, uh, with the stern ball, of course. And then we have a light rust wash. And that is... 1004. Then we have a wet mud 1705. And then we have a loose ground, and that's 1752. And then we have a pigment gunmetal. I know I already have the light rust wash and the gunmetal pigment. And I believe I have a dark tracks. Or I have uh, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. But um, I might just, just buy the set, I'm not sure. So that's the uh, wet earth. 
Sorry, I can't show you what they look like on the palette because I have to return one of them. So if you guys think what I should use on between my Bird Panther and my Jack Tiger, um, let me know in the comments on which of those um, tracks. And um, if you want to see more review videos of different products, I get I get different products to review at different times. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel. You know, get notifications. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or you want any more information on any of these products. And if you did like the video, hit the dislike button. But tell me why in the comments. Tell me what I did wrong and what how I can how can I improve on my skill to make you have an enjoyable video. Um, you can also find on my channel the Yag Tiger, the 116th scale trumpeter Yag Tiger that's being built. Um, we've done the first build video, um, and we went through an overview of how we're doing it. We're starting the second build video, and woo-wee, we're getting into some stuff. So stay tuned for that. There's also the Burnt Panther going on. And then I just did a review for the TACCOM 135th scale Panther A late edition with the big Ed Edward photo edge detail upset, which looks amazing. It just looks amazing. Well, that'll do it for this video. I am the Crazy Gamer for Crazy Gamers Games and Model Making. You guys have a great day.